Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but really a variety of categories, including but not limited to stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, the very, very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. Speaking of which, we have a couple of giveaways. We have our ongoing secret password giveaway way that lasts the entire month where when you come across a secret password you do want to enter it into the Google form that I have linked for you in the description box below. I've already announced a couple of secret passwords so far this month so if you missed them go back and watch those videos and then of course we also have our Be Relaxed Spring Box giveaway which I am so so excited about. It is a gorgeous curation. If you don't want to wait and see if you win the giveaway go ahead and order the box because they sell out every season and again this is another one you don't want to miss. Today though I have another fun monthly lifestyle box that I have been opening on the channel probably for a good two years now. I always say maybe I'll skip it for a while but it is a consistently good value and they are almost always on time even when tons of people were having shipping delays. They were always sending me boxes and this is single swag and when I say sending me boxes I say sending me boxes that I pay for. Now they do have this full box which is $39.99. They also have a petite box which usually has four to five items versus the seven to eight items and that petite box is $24.99. They did get rid of their referral program for a hot second and now it's back but I'm trying to use their new affiliate program so there is a slight difference where referral programs get you credits with the company their affiliate program they actually pay you a small commission so if you happen to use this code it's ssfriend15 then please do use the link that I'll leave for you in the description box below and let me know in a comment that you used that link because I'm trying to see if their new affiliate program works either way you get $15 off so it's a good deal and it makes this box an even better value so let's go ahead and get into this April box which I have to say I think it actually arrived in March that's how on top they are with their shipping it's not much to look at the box they always just have a very very simple product card that just tells us all of the items now they usually have a jewelry piece which is a little bit elevated in price in my opinion and they usually have a snack which is usually around four to five dollars in value so when they tell you that the total retail value of the April box is two hundred and twenty eight dollars in my mind it's probably closer to half of that is probably closer to $114, which on a you know, $40 box and maybe you got a $15 discount is still an awesome deal, right? So the other cool thing is that when you are a subscriber, if you've ever been a subscriber, you can shop in their like market that they have online and you can get a lot of these items for very discounted prices. So I'm going to prop this up in front of me. Yeah. So everything is 50% off the retail in their online shop. So just some plain black or branded tissue paper, the same as always. They must have bought that in so much bulk because once upon a time their box actually was like, like black and white before they did this kind of more springy looking thing. So it says, put yourself first. Don't save the best for last. Relax, smile, and enjoy this month's special surprise just for you. So the first thing I'm pulling out is from Pivotal. Now we've gotten some stuff from Pivotal before. I think I actually got cooling globes once. Um, these are some reusable facial rounds. So it says, our face rounds are not only soft and gentle on your skin, they're great for the environment as well. Place, replace your single use cotton balls and wipes with these reusable washable tools. So let's go ahead and open it. They just came in this little like Ziploc bag. Hopefully I can open this. This it says has a value of $22. So let's see. These are actually pretty nice, you guys. So, huh. I wasn't expecting this. So they're nice and soft. So it looks like they're kind of like the makeup eraser where they definitely have like a shorter um, brush on one side and that's usually for removing stuff and this is more for exfoliating where it's a little bit longer but they're pretty soft they have a it feels like a little bit of a foam cushion in the center so they're gonna feel they're a little bit stiffer than like a regular cotton round but I feel like they might actually last and I actually like when it's a light color like this no normally I wouldn't want a light color like on a washcloth because then it's gonna stain but I like kind of I like the satisfaction of seeing the makeup come off I know that's weird so uh it says same thing that says on the bag it just says to clean rinse with warm water and mild soap after each use so i don't know if they're like machine washable even if you put them like in a little mesh bag but um so not too bad um again i'm not sure about that 22 dollar value that's like seven dollars a piece which seems like a lot but i am actually pleasantly surprised by the quality of those facial rounds okay let's take a look at our snack shall we so 
This time it is from Baker's Brothers. Ooh, we've never gotten this before. Like I sometimes really like, they've sent us like chocolate croissants and they've sent us like little cakes. And this time we got mom's favorite creamy milk filled snowball. Like this is those little like, um, you know, bodega or grocery store, buy the checkout counter, like treats where you're like, I do not need to have a Twinkie. I do not need this like snowball, the like pink ones. Um, but when it's sent to you in a box, you're like, well, I guess I have to eat it because that would be wasteful if I didn't. So um, it's also nice if you wanted to share it with your kids, if you have kids. So let's see what it says. Where is this? Oh, there it is. They hit it. It has a value of $4. See, that seems a little high to me. Um, it says, indulge in this soft and chewy, delicious treat with icing on the outside and a creamy filling. Mm -mm, I will indulge. <laughs> All right. We have something from Nobility. Now I haven't, I don't know that I know this brand. So it says Bar Baron Baronessa Champagne Luxury Hand Cream. Gotta love hand cream, but it is very pretty and very royal looking in purple and gold. So let's see, this has a value of $22. Again, I don't know Nobility Baronessa. It says this lush moisturizing hand cream boasting anti-aging, antibacterial and moisture retaining properties. I'm always a little suspicious when it's got that many things going for it. Leaves your skin feeling silky smooth and bursting with vitality for a deep hydrating experience massage the lotion into hands and fingers playing close attention to the cuticle area so i don't know that i want my moisturizer to also be antibacterial right because it's like soaking into your into your hands i don't know i'm sure it's just a regular like hand lotion they're just trying to make it sound fancy um let's see all right here's our jewelry piece so it always comes in like a some sort of fancified cardboard of sorts so i'm guessing this is our jewelry um and they usually just feel like it's a little bit pricey now lately it's been pretty good like so knock on wood knock on wood it's still good and they've been doing a lot of sets instead of individual items so good little gifty but this has a value of 54 dollars, so definitely the highest valued item in the box i again i was kind of question the uh, pricing on the jewelry because it's just fun fashion jewelry you're not getting like fine jewelry in this all right so we got again kind of a set Mine's a little bit kinked. Uh, the Vera braided necklace set that has, again, value of $54. This trendy, sophisticated set features two braided gold necklaces in two sizes, perfect for any occasion while layering or wearing each piece on its own. So mine was a little bit stiff. I was a little bit concerned when I unkinked it that it was just going to snap in half, but it didn't. It actually just needed a little massaging. So these are actually pretty simple, right? I could see this looking pretty good layered together or even with a pendant necklace. So you guys know I like my gold. For those of you who are like more silver lovers, I know that's probably a disappointing set for you, but this is pretty basic, pretty simple. Like I said, there is a little stiffness to some of it. It's not like like in my personal opinion, this vertical collective, it's not like the highest value uh, qual quality jewelry. You can kind of see that little kink in there. But so I think I can just kind of like massage those kinks out, which I don't really know how they happened, but just a little bit stiff and hopefully it doesn't break. But, you know, again, if it breaks, it's it's not like the most expensive jewelry in the world. So you can kind of see how that gets those little like kinks or stiffness in it. But otherwise, I like this big one. This one doesn't seem to be having that problem at all. It seems to have a little bit more flexibility in the, in the coils of it. So that's the one I'd probably use anyway, just because it's a little bit more of a statement. So not too bad. I mean, I always figure if I use one of the pieces out of the sets that they send in this box, still a good deal if it only lasts a few wears again it's not great to do like fast fashion i feel like when it comes to jewelry as much as we can avoid it but again this is like such a good affordable well-rounded treat every month like some months you're just gonna like the snack some months you're gonna be like oh i can use this hand cream and i kind of like the necklace some months you're gonna be like you know i guess i can maybe use the facial rounds like not everything in the box and this is the case honestly with all boxes is gonna be a winner like when you get a box where you like 80 percent of the items i think that is a good deal and because usually you are getting that extra value of them having the buying power of being a subscription box and having a big uh customer base 
All right, I'm talking a lot, I know. So this is the Chizos Extendable Back Massager. All right, this is gonna be my favorite item in the box. I love these things. So I've definitely, I think I've gotten like something from Chizos before in single swag, maybe in a 180 degree box. So they make all kinds of things. Um, I love those like tinglers. Have you ever used those? Like they look like little wire, like spider legs and you like use them on your head. That's like the best thing. I mean, you can do it to yourself, but it's like so much better to get somebody else to do it anyway. An extendable back massager is a great idea though, telescoping, so it's just got these little nubbies. Oh, and they actually like move, so that's kind of neat. Each of them has their own ring, so that's going to go. And then it's extending, so you can go up and down. Wow, it matches my outfit, doesn't it? So actually my husband's probably going to be super into this, except he's going to be like, use it on me. I'm like, no, it's so that you can use it yourself. Um, it's. I don't feel like it should probably have like a little bit of a hook to it, so that you can like really dig in like over your shoulder, but Let's see if that works. Mm, feels pretty good. I, I, it's not too bad. It says it's a value of $18. That seems like a lot. I feel like this looks a lot like my s'mores like poker. Um, it says this innovative massaging tool makes do-it-yourself massage therapy at home or on the go easier than ever. The extended extendable design helps to hit all those hard to reach areas to comfort sore muscles or scratch that nagging itch. Now that would be good for that too. So I feel like it could have a little bit more design element to it, maybe a little bit of a curve, but it's actually not bad looking either and uh i think that's pretty cool i've definitely gotten like the wood back scratchers which are great but um this is kind of nice in terms of the extendability of it so cool what else what else oh i think we might have a candle my friends so this is from sunset park they do a lot of their lifestyle items for uh single swag and usually like the lifestyle items are kind of more my favorite thing even though this is kind of i feel like you could categorize this as a self-care box too i mean in all honesty all subscription boxes are a luxury all subscription boxes are self-care to some degree it's like uh retail therapy on a schedule which is <laughs> not a bad thing if, if you have the budget and the means for it so very pretty it's kind of this like rose gold but almost like more of a lavender or more copper i don't know i don't know how to describe that color but it's kind of pretty so let's see if i can open it sometimes so i managed to open this one so the wax starts pretty far down in this candle but smells pretty good it's like kind of sweet it smells like vanilla hmm i don't know i gotta try that again not too bad, not too bad. So this is their candle. I'm trying to find it here on the card. So Sunset Park, Copper Tin Candle. They're gonna call it copper. Uh, $22 value. See, this is not a $22 candle. It's a nice candle, but candles are overpriced in general, like in all boxes, but you know. This all natural slow burning candle in a decorative tin has a clean and alluring aromatic scent with hints of jasmine and lilac. I do not smell jasmine and lilac. I smell a nice sweet scent, lightly sweet, not like overwhelmingly sweet because you guys know I don't like that. But jasmine and lilac are some of my favorite floral scents and this does not smell like that. But that's okay, it still smells good, but if it was jasmine and lilac, it would be better. Um, I think we have a couple more items that are just hiding in here. So this is from Trifle Cosmetics, which is actually a pretty good brand. It's based on the fact that it appears in other beauty boxes that are strictly beauty boxes. So I don't feel like this is some random brand that they found. Uh, so this is their Glisten Whip, an illuminating priming serum. I love primers. I just use them as my like moisturizer and foundation and everything because you guys know I'm like all about the one step situation. This has a value of $38 for how many ounces? Uh, 1.06 ounces. Okay. It says an illuminating, a unique illuminating primer in a delightful whipped cream texture that drenches skin in long lasting moisture and a subtle luminosity to enhance any makeup. It's that dewy glow. I don't want to glisten. It says formulated with plum seed oil and mango extract to boost your skin's natural radiance as well as reduce the appearance of lackluster tired skin. All right. Well, if it makes me look lustrous and awake i'll take it um but again i like primers so i'll definitely probably definitely probably man i will probably try this because i like primers and i do go through them pretty quickly we have one last item oh this is by a company we do see in here a lot but i do see in other subscription boxes as well which is you and oil um i believe they're an asian company this says it has a value of 48 dollars. so right after our jewelry which was 54 dollars, this is the next highest valued item in the box it says mineral water and amber oil serum for split hair ends hey i could use that i actually just had my husband 
trim my hair for me because I am very low maintenance when it comes to my hair. Obviously, I don't do anything to it. One of these days, I will probably start dyeing it in all honesty. But until then, I cannot remember the last time I had a professional haircut because it's really so simple. My hair is very thin. You put it all together, cut it across, and there we go. So he actually cut off about five, six inches. So my split ends are doing pretty good right now, but they'll be back. Don't you worry. So it's this nice amber bottle right here. You and oil is what it's called again. So this super smoothing serum reduces frizz and flyaways. I love that because I got lots of those. Moisturizes dry hair and split ends and controls hair without weighing it down. Formulated with a blend of natural and essential oils, this product blocks humidity and boosts shine, leaving strands clean, soft, and silky okay well i'll use a hair oil that's kind of cool so let's see it says um it says it does stop breaking and flacking off flacking flaking i think they mean flaking but they put a c in there which is kind of cute uh it says rub a few drops of oil into wet hair ends two times a week adding a few drops to the shampoo or conditioner is recommended too all right i can put that into my uh conditioner situation it looks very like liquidy. It doesn't look very like thick. So we'll see. Um, can't hurt to try. My split ends are terrible when they when they get going. So let's go over everything we got in the box. We got our serum for split hair ends to prevent flacking. We got our Nobility Baronessa, never heard of it. Uh, champagne a Luxury Hand Cream. We got our Copper Tin Candle that does not smell like what they said, but it does smell delicious. We got our Vertical Collective Vera Braided Necklaces, which I'm not, I'm, it's not bad, but it's not like my favorite jewelry piece that I've gotten from them before. We got our extendable back massager. This is probably my favorite item in the box. Our pivotal reusable face rounds, not bad, but I'll have to see how they work if they do work. But based on the texture, they feel similar to other products that I have used. Uh, we got a delicious snowball, which I'm super excited to eat. And then finally, we got our Glisten Whip from Trifle Cosmetics Illuminating Primer Serum priming serum so it's like both primer and serum all right why not um let me know in the comments below what you thought about this box what your favorite item was i actually thought this was pretty solid for a singles swag box again the jewelry wasn't my favorite i'm happy to get a candle hand cream is always a nice thing to receive happy about the split hair ends serum happy about the back massager the snowball and the priming serum so that's already half of the items in the box now if you are getting the petite box usually you're gonna get that jewelry piece as well as the snack so that's kind of like your high and low end item and then you're going to get something else in the self-care item i would probably guess in this case you would probably get like the maybe the serum for split hair ends definitely the hand cream and then maybe maybe the other serum for the or the primer or something just my guess or the rounds maybe they're rounds let me know if you guys got the petite box. I'd be interested to find out what the actual items were this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.